All right. Um, as far as injuries go, um, Hitch um, won't practice today. He's got um, knee inflammation. Uh, Traverius Ward with a quad strain. Blake Bell, his back uh, locked up on him there, tightened up on him, so he, he won't practice. Tyreek Hill um, has a quad contusion uh, that happened during the game, and <clears throat> he played through it, but had a little swelling in there, so we'll back off of him. And then Chris Jones with the wrist contusion, and then uh, Joe Tooney with the uh, broken hand. So um, it seems like a long, long list, but uh, I've... I think when it's all said and done, we'll we'll be able to get guys back here in the next uh, in the next little bit, but, um, which is a which is a positive thing. So um, I, I'm sure I'm going to be asked uh, by somebody about uh, John Gruden's situation. I'm not going to get into uh, that. I think all around it's it's a you know it's a tough tough deal. So but I'm going to just stay away from that. I just appreciate the courtesy, likewise. So. Um, there's nothing going to be gained or uh, by me uh, with my remarks. So, anyways, with that, uh, time's yours. Hey, what, uh, what factors are important to you when considering that change in that chart? Yeah. So, listen, we look at that. <clears throat> I mentioned this before that we, we look at it every every week. Um, I mean, these guys are evaluated every day, and so. Um, we know the good, we know the bad, right? And so there's got to be a trust there that we're, we're trying to do the right things. But um, I know there's always questions. So, uh, But we do look at it thoroughly, and that's the best I can tell you. Um, and it's, there are a lot of things that go into that, but that's, and then we make a final decision. Andy, would you look back <coughs> Sunday? Have you, have you learned anything more or... Any different realizations about what, what was maybe not quite clicking in the passing game the way you're used to seeing it? Yeah, so, well, I mean, I, I keep going back to the turnover part. <clears throat> you know, the turnovers are, are something that, um, you know, we've got to take care of. I mean, we're, we're doing a phenomenal job per, per series of scoring. Uh, you know, one of the best in the history of the game. But you, you, turn, you turn the ball over, you got a problem. You know, I mean, it's that's the reality of it. You can you put all the yards together you want. You can put almost 90 plays together. You can do all that stuff. When we turn the ball over, it's an issue. So we've done that in really three games, two where we've had four, and then the one with the two. So um, those were the games we lost. I mean, it's that part becomes very obvious. Now, all those games, we had production. You know, there were a lot of good things. But those things, you know, we just got to put those to an end and, and get those taken care of, and everybody's got a piece of the pie. So we've got, I'll, and I'm taking the blame. I mean, I'm in charge of it, so I'm taking the blame. And uh, we've got to make sure we fix that. In general, when you see, uh, <coughs> I guess it was 33 completions, 21 incompletions, do you, do you feel like it's a equal parts? Patrick's a little off, uh, people not being where they should be, defense changing reads? Uh, it could be some of that, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, but. He still had, he had enough completions to, or we should, you know, we should win the game without the, you know, without the um, turnovers. You know, I mean, we still had a chance there you know, going into it. You know. And Joe Tooney, uh, is he a candidate to go on IR? Uh, probably not right now. No, uh, you know, he just did the walkthrough with us, and so <clears throat> I think it's just, you know, we give him a little time here for that thing settle down, and then. Yeah, they will have but a chance to be okay. Yeah. A lot of those things, <clears throat> Coach, specific to Chris Jones, I know last week you wanted to give him a rest period. What's your concern level with him right now? Well, where he feels comfortable, where he can play, you know. I mean, that's literally it. So, um, you know, when he feels when he feels that and that he can do his job, I mean, then he'll be back in. But Coach, he's getting better, though. So that's, that's a plus. <clears throat> Coach, I know you had a chance to possibly see Washington on film uh, over the last few weeks. What, what, what do you see defensively that may give your, uh, you know, give you hope that your offense can pick things up going into this uh, next game? Yeah. So, um, well, like I said, there was turnovers. Um, the, the production is there. It's the turnovers that we got to take care of. I don't want to lose track of that. Um, but I tell you, you got to take care of that front. Uh, that's where it starts. And 
they're they're a productive group, um, talented, play hard. You know, so it's a great challenge for us. Coach, how do you perceive the declines out? How do you perceive uh, the, the running back situation shaking out? Yeah, well, we're you know we've got thirty one one. I mean, they're they're good players, so you know, and um, we can put Gore up too. Uh, he was productive during uh, the preseason. Um, so we, we have the possibility of doing that, but we have trust in the other two guys. You know, they've, they've particularly Daryl. I mean, he's been productive since uh, for a number of years here. So, yeah. Coach, I want to ask you about Willie Gay. On Saturday, he made a post about his mental health being messed up. He played on Sunday. In your experience, what do you say to a guy that needs to be? You know, I'm proud of him for, for mentioning it. You know, a lot of people don't mention it, which is, I think, a great tribute to the kid of bringing it forward. Um, you know, we've got Dr. T here, and he's, um, you know, which we're glad we have, and <clears throat> and so he um, he's able to talk to him and and address the problem. I mean, what I think that's a beautiful thing. You know, so many people keep this hidden, and then disastrous things happen. And um, I'm just glad he he came forward with. It. Was that Could part of, uh, I'm guessing, the, the calculus and just determining before he, he could play, is having a conversation with him about that? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we stay in touch with him. But yeah, for sure. Make sure he's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we're trying not to let any of that stuff slide the best way we can, you know. So, yeah. A couple Coach, more. Go ahead, Pete. Yeah. Coach, you got uh, Josh Gordon involved for 10% plays. How did he feel? How did he respond to that optimistic increase? Yeah, you know what? He did good. I mean, if we hadn't gone into the hurry up mode, he would have had more. I, you know, I was thinking somewhere 20 plays, you know, to get him in, and he got nine. Um, but we also jumped into the hurry up, you know, late in the third quarter. So cut him off of some plays there. But, um, you know, I, I I like the progress he's making. Last one, kid. Coach, do you feel like there have been um, issues with how you guys are practicing in the week, or is it more so just execution out there on the field? Do you plan on switching things up at all during practice? Yeah, so I think we need to get better in all spots. Yeah, I, I think, every, like I said, everybody's got a piece of this. So, um you know, we, we can do better with practice. We can do better and have it carry over into play time. I'm sorry, last one. <clears throat> First six weeks of the season, I think it's almost like 50%. You're, you faced Harbaugh, you faced McDermott, this week Rivera. How much pride do you take looking across that line of scrimmage and you see your former assistants? Yeah, I'm proud of them. I don't like getting beat by them, but I'm proud of them. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know it bothers me. But uh, period. I mean, losing games, I'm not big on But... Listen, they're they're good coaches, so and Ron's the same way. Ron, you know, they're well coached. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, yep, we got it.